Hey guys, welcome back to Bubba Cards. This is Josh. I was down at my local baseball card shop digging through their clearance bin and I found a bunch of packs from 1994 Top Series 1 and Series 2. Uh, I found nine packs of Series 1 here. You see there's uh, 12, 12 cards in every pack with Tops Gold, one Tops Gold card in every pack. And then I got, uh, I think, 13 or 14 packs of this uh, Series 2. So they were 75 cents a pack. Um, I thought it'd be fun to go through and break these. So let's get to cracking. All right, looks like we got a little bit of stickage, which is always annoying, but hopefully it's nothing too bad. So we go through our first pack here. There's Ryan Sandberg, my favorite player as a kid. Always love that card too, the three different action. Future star, Benji Gill. If you collected uh, 2019 uh, Topps Archives, you'll notice this this one. They reuse that for their, their series there. 1983 Topps All-Stars, Matt Williams and Wade Boggs. There's not too many notable rookies in this. Um, the best card is probably the Derek Jeter card, which is on uh, a rookie card with three other guys, even though it's not Derek Jeter's actual rookie card but it's still probably the best card in the set. There's Chuck Finley, he's our Topps Gold card in this pack. Greg Hibbard and Matt Miski. This isn't a super valuable set these days, but um, it's one that I, I like popping these whenever I see these packs on clearance. I think it's a kind of a cool design there. You can see the front and the back. And I have started to try to put this set together. The packs are usually, you can find them at card shops and flea markets. They're usually about 50 cents or 75 cents a pack. So you don't have to shell out a whole lot of money. There's two Topps Gold cards in this pack. These draft pick cards. Um, unfortunately, there's just none of the draft picks uh, really panned out into anything. Yeah, some of these are definitely sticking together, which is always a bummer, but that's kind of the way it goes with these uh, 90s. Tops packs with the gloss, gloss to them. You see, Mark, Mark Grace. Edgar Martinez. I do like the way these future star cards look. Um, I didn't really collect this set. I was kind of just getting out of cards at that point. Um, I mean, I, I did have, I did pop a few packs back in the day, but uh, not too many as I was kind of on my way out. So it is fun now when I go back and there's Big Frank right there, cool card. Um, I like collecting these cards that I didn't really collect at the time. And, Kind of getting back into the hobby over the past few years. There's Kirby Puckett. I'm a big vintage collector, but um, I do have a a passion for Topps cards. So even the junk wax era ones, I enjoy opening packs and trying to collect all the sets that I missed out on. Maybe we'll get lucky and find that Derek Jeter card. I'm not sure if it was in Series 1 or not, but we got a bunch of packs from Series 2 as well, so at least we'll have a shot either way.
Barry Bonds and Albert Bell, the All-Stars. And the, G the Derek Jeter card will come. It will be exactly like this one. There's Jason Giambi, um, which is also not his rookie card. But it he's on the, one of these top prospects cards. So it's still one of the, the better cards in the set. So maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find it. There's a Cal Ripken, the gold card. Three packs left of Series 1. The Cliff Floyd rookie card, one of the, the better ones. So it's not saying too much. It's King Griffey Jr. All-Star. Randy Johnson on the back there. That's a cool card. He's a tall dude. I met him one time and it's just amazing how tall and lanky he was. Robin Ventura. Lee Smith when he was with the Yankees. And future star Mark Thompson. We have one last pack of uh, 1994 Topps Baseball Series 1. It's Fernando Valenzuela. How do you know he played with the Orioles? How cool. Looks like after the Dodgers, he played with the Angels. One season with the Angels and a season with the, the Orioles. That's the end of Series 1. Let's try these Series 2 packs, and maybe there's a Jeter in these. Well, it's not the right one we were looking for. Paul O'Neill. Cards really were going in all different directions in these packs. Kirby Puckett, Kirby Puckett measures of greatness. Fred McGriff when he was playing with the Braves. Looks like he had a started off the Blue Jays, had a few seasons with the Padres, and then went over to the Braves. Coming attractions for the Dodgers. Alright, still no Jeter. Like I said, I don't know if Jeter was only available in one series or the other, or was in all of them, but not sure. Feel free to leave a comment if you know what was the best series to find him. And there's Bo Jackson right there when he's playing with the White Sox. I 
think that was after his football career had come to an end, but he was re was able to recover from his knee injury enough to come back and try baseball for a little bit longer. Still no Jeter. Man, these cards are a mess. It's King Griffey Jr.'s Measures of Greatness. I think he should be in the Hall of Fame, and I'm kind of surprised that he isn't. Um, I'm guessing eventually he'll get in with the, when the players vote whenever he's available for that. He was such an iconic player. I know his his career wasn't exactly as as long as some of these other guys, but he was he was a solid player for the Yankees and Scott Hatterberg. I best know Scott from the movie Moneyball. This character was a very interesting and funny part of that movie. <laughs> These cards are going every which way and they're stuck together and Eesh. I got a little paper loss on that one. But that's part of the game when you're opening packs that are 20, 30 years old and been stuck in some box in a warehouse probably for a long time. It's Cal Ripken Measures of Greatness. I love the old uh, Marlins jerseys when they first became a franchise and they had that teal color. And another one, the cool, cool helmets. Don Magley again. Okay. All right, looks like we have six more packs left. We have our clearance find, 1994 tops. I love when I go in a card shop and they have a bin of old clearance wax packs. I love trying to find packs that I really didn't pop that much. Especially when I can find them for 50 cents or a dollar or less. Don't have to spend a lot of money. Tina Martinez. Carl Everett's coming attractions. Bobby Bonilla playing for the Mets. Signed that awesome contract where he's still getting paid a million bucks every year. I think he's got a few more years of that left. Or maybe this is the last year. I can't remember. But it uh, it did well. Here's this same same card again. So I don't know. I don't know if the Jeter is available in Series 2 or not. But 
we're definitely not having any luck finding it. Daryl Strawberry when he's with the Dodgers. All right, down to our final four packs. Let's see if we can find anything else of note. Jim tell me. And catcher prospects. Jason Kendall. Carlos Delgado. We want the short stops. The short stops with a young Derek Jeter. There's Hall of Famer Harold Baines. Coming attractions for the A's. No luck there. Down to our final two packs. Pedro Martinez, but I don't believe that's the uh, same Pedro that we that we know from the Blue Jays coming attractions. One more pack here of 1994 top series two. I kind of like this design, but I gotta say these are some of the most annoying cards I've ever opened. Just the fact that they're going in every every direction and half the cards are stuck to each other at this point. And our final card is a draft pick, Tony Futurek. Um, never heard of him, so I don't know how to guessing you didn't have much of your career. Um, overall, that was a fun set. Um, I, do, I do like the design. It's very basic and simple, but uh, kind of classic. Um, I think I'm going to try to keep collecting this set as well, and maybe I can find some more cheap packs, and maybe eventually even find that Derek Jeter card. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. We'll see you next time.